what we're going to do today, because it is all live streamed, obviously, due to the evolving COVID situation in South Australia. So we'll just introduce ourselves as some of the government teaching team and talk a little bit about what we teach and maybe any sort of tips or guidance that we have for all of you starting out first year at university from our own accumulated experience of teaching first years. So we have a number of colleagues here today, as well as someone from the Government Student Association, John Kelly. And I think I'll just pass around and ask everyone to introduce themselves and say a little bit about what they teach and etc. Okay, introduce them to you, Anthony. Thank you. Uh, hello everyone, my name's Anthony Longwa. I'm uh, an Associate Professor in the Government Teaching Program. Uh, and uh, I'm teaching first year in second semester, so the semester that is just starting. Uh, those of you who might be doing the revolutionary ideas topic will have me inflicted upon you <laughs> for several hours a week. Honour. Honour. Uh, That's right. <laughs> um, and, uh, so I'm being heckled by my colleagues behind me, in case you can't, in case, in case you can't hear that. Uh, particularly this one here, yeah. Rob, Rob Manwaring, who, who you should heckle. <laughs> in, 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 in it's our outrageous. Our <laughs> that is outrageous. <laughs> um, uh, so, um, as well as teaching the revolutionary ideas topic, uh, in second year I teach uh, debating human rights, and in third year I teach critical approaches to international relations, uh, and I also teach at the master's level various human rights topics uh, there as well. Uh, we're really looking forward to having you on board uh, this semester and uh, it's going to be a little bit awkward, particularly as we start with the evolving COVID situation. Um, and just to say about that, uh, the university and we as teaching staff understand that it's very confusing and troubling for people. So if you're feeling stressed, uh, know that you're in good company because I think we're all <laughs> feeling stressed as well. Um, and if, if there are questions that are prompted by that, just you know, flick us an email, uh, look on the university information pages about COVID, look on the South Australia government information pages about COVID to understand what, what's going on. Uh, it, it will interrupt the way things normally would be progressing and we'll try and you know, facilitate that uh, in your interests as best we're able to. Um, more generally, in terms of tips for first year students, look, I have to be perfectly honest with you, I haven't taught first year for about 15 years, <laughs> so you're all guinea pigs as far as I'm concerned, so I will be looking forward to getting tips from you uh, about what, you know, what works for you, what you would like, what, what you would enjoy, but, but generally, uh, particularly if you're really just starting this semester, what I would encourage you to do is, and this is complicated because of the COVID situation, but, you know, uh, talk to people, uh, whether it's your fellow students, uh, your teaching staff, or just people you randomly meet um, around the campus or as it might happen to be online. <laughs> um, and talk about what you're studying. If you've got challenges or difficulties, talk about those things. Um, and just uh, in, enjoy sort of uh, getting to know your fellow students uh, as much as you can. And then uh, the other tip that I would have is to read voraciously. That's, uh, <laughs> that's what I would suggest. Um, your assigned readings, uh, please do those. Please do those before class. <laughs> um, but just read generally and talk about what you read. You know, if you're, even in class, you know, if you're reading something that is not an assigned reading, if it's just a, a novel that you're randomly reading that relates to what you're talking about in the class, bring it into the discussion. Um, think, think broadly. I probably well and truly exceeded my minutes, so I'll, I'll hand back to Jessica while I'm twirling around on the stage. <laughs> Thanks a lot, Anthony. And um, I'll just reiterate, in case anyone has just joined us, that you can go to the... Um, I think I'll put up a questions question. So you can go to the hashtag BGL underscore media orientation underscore GOV on slido.com. And there's a place there where you can put in any questions if you have questions or anything you want to put in any information about yourself so we actually know who you are and who's watching. Um, John, did you want to say anything about sure. advice or guidance for students starting out at uni? Thanks. Uh, hello, I am John Kelly. I am the treasurer of GOVSA, the Government Student Association here at Flinders. Um, 
my main piece of advice would be talk to your lecturers and your tutors. Uh, they're amazing people with a lot of knowledge. Uh, I think a lot of what I understand about political science and international relations today comes from discussions that I've had with my lecturers and with my tutors. That's kind of hard with, um, I would say Skype, it's not Skype, it's Collaborate. Um, but yes, uh, have a chat with your lecturers. They're smart people, I think. Yes, good morning. Uh, my name is uh, Louis Davinia. I teach into the government program as well. Um, I'm the coordinator of the Masters in International Relations. Uh, essentially, I teach one or two uh, topics as we call it here into the undergraduate program. A uh, second year topic called the International Political System uh, and um, uh, student favorite research methods. Um, so essentially, I, I always tell students when I was in the US, when I was in Europe here, I always tell them the same thing. Uh, coming to college or university, as we call it here, is a different experience. I always do sports analogies, and I, I always say, you know, it's the difference between the NCAA and the NFL. Uh, you know, the game is exactly the same. It's football. You know, they play with the same object. The, the, the objectives are the same, but the game is different. So the, the, the key thing here is really there's going to be other expectations of you. There's going to be other demands. There's just a different way of, of doing education in college. And, and, it, and it, it is going to be a little bit of a, a shock, and I, I guess that's the objective. But just to let you know, I think we're a very accessible group. Uh, I always say it's a sort of an open-door policy. Uh, if, if we're not on campus, obviously, we can't have that open-door policy. But if you do have questions, and if you do feel you're struggling, I flunked my first two years of college because there were no doors open. Um, <laughs> but feel free to you know, reach out to us, email, collaborate, come on campus uh, when we can, uh, and try to make that transition as seamless as possible. Very good. <clears throat> uh, hello, everyone. Is anyone out there? Is anyone really out there? Um, who knows? Uh, anyway, I'll talk into the ether. My name is Rob Manwaring, and I teach here in the College of Business, Government and Law at Flinders University, the greatest university in South Australia, if not the world. Uh, I think we're ranked above Harvard for something. Um, I've been here for a few years, and I teach into the first year undergraduate teaching program mostly. Um, this semester, semester two, I'm teaching a topic, a brand new topic called political change in Australia. And I'm literally writing the lectures uh, as we go, uh, which will be very exciting. So hopefully maybe some of you will be signed up for that. But I also teach uh, the big first year topic called Introduction to Democracy and Government. And uh, so I kind of teach into the first years. My research, I tend to look at centre-left political parties. I'm interested in political parties and uh, that's part of my research. Um, what else shall I say that's useful? I'm trying to think about top tips for first year students, like what's new to university. Um, actually, the first thing I should have done from this beginning is acknowledge that we're on Ghana land uh, and do an acknowledgement of country. So, the land we stand on, particularly at Bedford Park here, is the land of the Ghana people. And I recognise the uh, Ghana people as the traditional custodians of the land, I recognise their leaders, past, present, and emerging. Uh, and indigenous politics, indigenous affairs is a really important part of Flinders' identity. We have a really vibrant uh, group of scholars who teach and uh, encourage us to think about indigenous politics and affairs. So I should uh, kind of flag that. I should have started that, I think. Um, but think about first year experience, my kind of top tips would be, my main thing really is that you guys, I think, have very busy lives. Many of you will have jobs, you might have caring responsibilities, You've got a lot going on in your lives. If, like me, you love soccer, which is the proper sport, Lewis, <laughs> uh, then that will take up a lot of your lives because that's the most important thing there are. So it then means, like, how do you find time for us and your studies? And so my top tip, really, is to think about your time management. So if you're doing, say, four topics this semester, like, when are you going to do the reading for Anthony's topic? When are you going to do some of the reading or the work for my topic? How are you going to fit it in? And my kind of top tip, really, is to kind of really think hard because a lot of the surveys that we do uh, particularly with first years they kind of underestimate how much work is or time is expected and it becomes a bit hard particularly when the assignments are due so maybe the thing to do now before semester starts is really have a think about your week you know when's a good day when you're gonna you could come on campus or not or kind of devote some time to doing your reading and your work um, 
So I'll finish on that note and just welcome you to Flinders. It's a brilliant place. Do come and see us. We love it when students come and uh, talk to us uh, about the things. Uh, and we all even sometimes grant extensions for essays. Um, <laughs> but yeah, look, welcome. I hope somebody's out there. And uh, I will pass on to my colleague Marianne now. Thanks, Rob. Um, welcome. I'm just assuming that you are here with us. Um, I'm Marianne Kelton. I'm an international relations academic. I teach a lot in the area of Australian foreign policy and national security. And most recently, I've joined the Jeff Fleisch Centre, where we analyse really the strategic implications of emerging digital technologies. And it's a really important area for all of us. Mostly I teach in upper year level topics now, uh, in third year topics, subjects in those areas. And just at the moment, I'm putting together a course, our kind of final capstone course, which eventually you'll get to after the three years of study, is really trying to think about what the big global challenges are for us. So I'm thinking about climate change in the digital era. And when I think about skills and employability skills and skills that we need in our personal life um, and in our workplace, I'm really thinking that negotiation skills and being able to collaborate and work with others are important. So we're really going to focus on those skills. And when I think about those skills, they're the skills that you're going to need during the next three years at uni, you know, working with people. So yes, reading and yes, thinking, but talking and working in groups um, with my colleagues who are really lovely people, really interested in talking with you, even though they do think that soccer is the main uh, football. Um, yeah, so come and talk to us. Uh, I thank John for joining us today. He's been in a number of topics, really terrific student, really interested in um, working with other students on really important projects of the day. So, yeah, I really look forward to seeing you um, come and talk to us. And thanks, Jess, for organising it today. Yeah, thanks. Thank you so much. And um, I should just briefly say, also, I realise who I am. First of all, thanks, Rob, for doing the acknowledgement of country, um, which I did not do at the beginning. I apologise for that. And um, I should also just briefly introduce myself, which I don't think I did, although you've probably all heard me in the other previous orientation event. So... I'm Jessica Ganawa and I'm a lecturer mainly into the International Relations Program. So I will most likely teach you if you are first year in our undergraduate degree and I'll be teaching you about international politics. I'm pretty passionate about it myself. I find it very interesting and I find it something that most students are pretty keen and engaged with as well. We have some great discussions. So that's me. I think... Um, Unless anyone has anything to add, I think we've heard from everyone and you've got a little bit of a flavour of what the government group is like. As everyone said, I think we're all pretty approachable, we're very interested in our students, we love teaching and we find that you are a big and um, interesting part of what we do is engaging with all of you. So definitely get to know us over your journey here and also take advantage of all of the wonderful supports and infrastructure that's available at Flinders and groups such as the Government Student Association.